everybody, it's Tia here. Today we are going to be making 10 cards using the adorable Hey Cupcake Collection from Doodlebug. Um, let's get started. All of my card bases are made from white cardstock and they are uh, A2 size, which is five and a half by four and a quarter. To start out with, I have some bubblegum cardstock and then I am adding some bonbon cardstock. All of my cardstock is from Doodlebug. And that is awesome because then it matches the colors of the pattern papers perfectly. Here I'm adding a rainbow grid paper from the 6x6 paper pad. Next, I cut out a couple of squares from the bumblebee cardstock and the swimming pool cardstock. And I am adding them to the card front. And I also added this cute sprinkle paper. That is from the 6x6 paper pad also, and I tied some pink and brown baker's twine to the card as well. Next, I grabbed one of the cupcakes um, from the odds and ends die cut, added some foam tape. About to take it off, and I remembered that I needed to add these white cardstock squares to the yellow and the blue cardstock. I was super excited to start decorating. I just jumped right ahead and missed a step. <laughs> so let's add the white cardstock and then we will add the cupcakes. This one is a cute pink one. And then I added one that is a chocolate flavored cupcake next. Like I said, those are from the odds and ends ephemera. I Next, I trimmed off some more foam tape and I grabbed two flower die cuts from the odds and ends a pink one and i believe this one is an orange one added those to the corners of the squares and then in the center of the flowers i like to add our cute sprinkle enamel dots a bright pink one and a yellow one i needed a sentiment for this card so i turned to the this and that sticker sheet found a little banner that said Hey Cupcake, which is perfect for this card about cupcakes. Added some foam tape on there and it takes just a second to get all that foam tape on there. Take the backing off. Then we're going to add it to the center of the card. That's card number one. Okay, on to card number two. We start with this cute uh, pink pattern paper. It's like a sprinkle paper. It's from the uh, 12 by 12 sheet. Add that to the center. This one's called Hey Cupcake. Next one is this cute green. It's also from 12 by 12. It's called Birthday Girl. And then two swimming pool cardstock pieces that I cut out with this cute scalloped metal die, one of our new doodle cuts. I'm gonna add these die cuts to the back of the green paper and that is a directional paper so you need to make sure that you have it going the right direction. I'll just add a thin little strip of glue on the back there and then we will add the swimming pool die cut scallop little borders to the top and then one to the bottom. And we're just gonna flip it over make sure that they're kind of straight before the glue dries and then if I remember right, the dies are six inches, so you will have a little bit of a overhang. So I'm just gonna trim the ends of these scallops off and then line up this side too, just a little tiny hair. I love these scissors. They're great for a little tiny fussy cutting. I'm gonna add this green section to the middle of the card. That green pattern paper is super fun. Kind of got a tone on tone little icons. Next, I went for the uh, couple of words from the chit chat um, ephemera pack. I've got a let's and a celebrate, kind of two separate words, but they go great together. So of course, add some foam tape behind there to pop them up and then add those to the card front spacing them nice and evenly. Grab this cute kitty cat with a party hat. He is from the odds and ends as well and he just fits perfectly right there in that little spot so we'll add him there. Next I grabbed one of these um, you know those party blowers that is also from the odds and ends. Added it right there next to the C in the corner and then I pulled 
three of the music note um, die cuts from the odds and ends. I've got an orange one, I've got a yellow one, and then this one is a teal one. And those are also added with some foam tape. And in the odds and ends, there are some Q acetate um, shapes, and these are the stars. So I'm going to add these to the card as well with my awesome Nuvo adhesive. It says it goes on clear, so let's test it out and see. It looks like it did a pretty good job. So we've got a yellow star, a little tiny, tiny dot of glue there. It's all you need. And then a green star. And then a blue star right there next to the orange note. That is that card, number two. Alrighty, card number three is up next. And this one has a little bit of a different card base. This is kind of what it looks like. It's got a notch cut out of the end there. So this is what it looks like before I trim the edge. You can tell that it's kind of a long ways card with a five and a half on that direction. A normal card, um, you know, opens like this and then the five and a half is that way. So. You'll need to make sure you cut your card base um, a little differently. Here I'm just going to take my paper trimmer and I'm going to line it up at the one and a half inch mark because I want that much off of the end. And then you've got the card base that looks just like that with kind of a little flap opening. Next we're going to pull some um, 12 by 12 orange confetti paper. This one is called Hip Hip Hooray. Super cute. It's going to go on the back panel of the card. Fold that over and now we're going to decorate this front panel. We've got some tangerine textured cardstock which matches perfectly with that orange pattern paper. We'll add that to the card front there. I kind of like the contrast of the pattern paper and then the cardstock. This is a blue stripe. That one's called Party Perfect also from the 12 by 12. It's going to go right in the center of that one. And then we've got some grasshopper cardstock. Aren't the names of our cardstock so fun? Love them. Okay, this green's gonna go in the center. Just make sure your stripes on that blue are going the right way. This is some white uh, cardstock that I inked with some blue Distress Oxide. Uh, tumble glass is that. And I kind of like to do that sometimes with my, my front panels I'm gonna decorate just for a little interest. Put that right in the center. Then we're going to pull this cute little guy. He is from the odds and ends. Now this um, Hey Cupcake is kind of a little bit more girly, you know, with lots of pinks, but it does have, you know, some masculine colors too. Got the blues and the, you know, the teals, the greens, the oranges. So this is a boy girl party, not just for girls. Got some uh, teal and green streamers and then this surprise sentiment is from the chit chat doesn't look like he's kind of jumping up and saying surprise it's kind of a fun way to add a sentiment to that this cute green polka dot paper is from the 12 by 12 sheet that is full of borders and that is kind of a tone on tone green with a lighter green polka dot i'm going to add that to that section right there and then this is one of our boutique buttons that i've tied with some green baker's twine added a couple of glue dots on the back and then added that uh, that little decoration there. Gonna finish the card off with, of course, some of my favorite sprinkles in the orange color and the white spaces, and that is card number three. All right, moving into card number four, we are gonna get started with this cute um, green party hat paper, which is from the six by six paper pad. And we are just gonna add that along the bottom of the card base. Next, we will take a piece of blush cardstock from Doodlebug. It's our textured cardstock. We will add that to the top section of the card. It's gonna overlap just a little bit, but that's okay, I like that. So it's kind of got a little lip. Next, we're gonna take a piece of the Teal Stripe Party Perfect paper from 12 by 12 sheet. And we will add that right to the center. I kind of like the stripey look of this card base. Next, I die cut a uh, oval from some of the grasshopper cardstock. We're going to add that to the center, kind of up a little bit closer to the top. 
but in the center. And then I also did another oval from the Lily White Swiss Dot paper. And this has um, some white with some tiny gray dots. I like that sometimes instead of some white cardstock, just for a little interest. It's really cute paper. Next, we're gonna grab this cute pink kitty cat with the balloons. He is from the Odds and Ends, and we will add our foam tape to that. And then he's going to go right in that center section. Oh, I forgot. We need to trim a little notch right there on the edge because he is going to hold one of these party horns. So we needed a little bit of a area to slide that horn and the die cut. Take the foam strip uh, uh, tape off the back of that horn and then add that to the kitty cat's arms and then we'll place that right in the center just like that next we've got a, a banner from the chit chat it says let's celebrate with that pretty bright yellow paper that comes in the collection it's going to go right there at the bottom i just tucked it kind of right underneath that party horn and the next i just finished the card off with a couple of these um, confetti shapes, they are also from the odds and ends. I'm just going to add those in the white space uh, on the oval by the kitty cat. That one is a teal square. And this one is a bright yellow star. And then this one is a green triangle gonna mimic the confetti on that one and that is card number four alrighty we're halfway there guys this is card number five we're gonna start with some of a little bit different pattern paper this time we're gonna use some of our petite prints this one is the swimming pool gingham linen petite print these go great with all our collections. The swimming pool is perfect going with this, um, you know, the pink Hey Cupcake 12 by 12 paper that we've used previously. That blue and that pink look really cute together. So we're going to put the pink right in the center there. And then this is another piece of a petite print. This one is the Bumblebee Dot Stripe. Again, it mimics that same bright yellow paper that is in the collection. The petite prints are great staples to have around to make cards. That one will go in the center there. Next, isn't this llama so cute? Cute pink llama. We're going to put foam tape behind there, and the llama is going to go right on the center of the card. Got lots of foam tape. It's a big die cut piece, lots of real estate there, but it makes such a good focal point for the card. So it's going to go right there in the center. And then Llama needed a friend, so we've got this cute little green bird in a party hat. He's also from the odds and ends, and he's just going to go right there. The next, uh, we needed a sentiment for the card. This one says sending. B day wishes and it is from the chit chat we'll add some glue on there this one doesn't have foam tape it's just going to go right on the card base kind of tucked underneath the llama there and then in the chit chat there is a pink dot heart that matches perfectly with the, the uh, heart in the center of that circle there so i am going to put foam tape on that and add that to the center of that part of the card and then another party horn. They're so cute. This is added right to the card base as well with a little bit of glue. And it's just gonna go right next to the circle sentiment there, right at the bottom. I like making cute little scenes. So to add a little bit of interest on my llama, I am using some Nouveau Jewel Drops. And um, if you're not familiar with these, they, they dry clear. And I'm just going to add a little bit, if you can see on the blanket of the llama there, there's some tiny little dots, kind of too small for our sprinkles. So I'm going to go in with this, 
these Nuvo drops. And I'm just gonna add little dots on every little dot on the blanket there. It's kind of like making your own enamel dots. And I just like the dimension and the color was perfect as well. So we'll zoom out. And then if you can see, they're raised and then um, they just add a good element of interest. That's card number five. Okay, jumping right into card number six. This one has some really fun colors as well. I'm loving the pinks and the greens and the blues together. So we are gonna start with another piece of petite print. Uh, this one is the bubblegum dot stripe. And that is gonna go right on top of the card base. Next, I cut a piece of that cute green paper. This is the birthday girl, and that is from the 12 by 12. It's the one with the cute green tone on tone party, um, party icons. Again, make sure that it is uh, going the right direction. That is a directional paper. So we're gonna add that right to the center of that pink paper. And then again, this cute teal stripe, it keeps showing up because it's so adorable and it uh, matches so good with the dots. I like dots and stripes together. I'm gonna lay that one right in the center of the green. Now I die cut a piece of white paper. This is kind of like a postage stamp edge. I ink the center with some fossilized amber distress oxide. I like that yellow. Um, again, I like to do that, you know, just to add a little bit of highlight to the die cut that I'm going to put on the center. If you don't have that postage uh, edge die cut, you can certainly just do a rectangle. It's going to go right in the center there. Now we're going to take this uh, awesome pink birthday cake from the odds and ends. Added some foam tape behind there. And we're going to add it right in the center of the card, right on top of that yellow ink. Kind of looks like the candles are all lit, the cake is glowing. Next, we're going to take uh, this cute Make-A-Wish sentiment. It's a banner, and that is from the Chit Chat. And we're just going to place that right on the cake stand, right underneath that cute green part of the cake. Add that there with some foam tape and then add a couple of music notes in the white space. Those are, of course, from the odds and ends. We've got a blue teal one and then a pink one. Foam tape on those. Next, I wanted to add a little bit of sparkle and shine. So I'm gonna go in with the stickles. It's the unicorn shade. And I'm gonna add that to these little tiny parts of the card the candle, and then the center of the flowers. The Unicorn is a darling shade. It's kind of got the same shades of glitter uh, that are in this collection. So it's got, you know, some pinks, some sparkly yellows, and a little bit of teal as well. So I like to use these stickles on the tiny little things. It's always the little, little finishing touches that make the cards really fun. You can kind of see the sparkle there. So that is that card. This one's kind of a quick and easy one, but I do like it. Card number six. Okay, here we are with card number seven. This one is a fun one. We're gonna start with, you guessed it, my favorite teal stripe paper. Teal stripe paper is called Party Perfect. It's from the 12 by 12. I'm gonna add that to the center. I have the card base there. I trimmed a piece of uh, another piece of the Petite Prince. This one is called Citrus and it is the Gingham Linen. That one's gonna go along the bottom edge of the card there. And then I cut out two tags, one from the cute pink sprinkle paper, Hey Cupcake, and then one from, again, the Petite Prince. That one's the Bumblebee Dot Stripe. I tied the tags with some of our Doodle Twine, the Bubblegum is the pink and the bumblebee is the yellow. Add the tags to the card front. We're going to put the pink one on first. And then add some adhesive to the tag there. And the yellow one is going to go right on top of the pink one. It overlaps just a little bit. 
Hey, next is time to decorate the front of the card. Look how cute this hedgie is on top of these presents. Hedgie is from the Odds and Ends. We're going to put some foam tape on that to pop it up, and we're going to put that right on the yellow tag. Hedgie doesn't have near enough presents, so we need another one. This is a cute pink one again from the Odds and Ends. It's just going to go right here on the pink part of the tag next to the other presents, and then a speech bubble. Wow. Wow, this hedgie has lots of presents. And we're going to add one more sentiment. This one is a friend like you is a gift. This is also from the chit chat. That's going to go right along the bottom on the green pattern paper. And we're going to add a little bit of interest there. These are new for us. These are our sprinkles. Sprinkles. <laughs> our fun enamel shapes. On there we have these tiny little dots. So I'm going to add these here and there on the card just of course for a little dimension and interest. I like to add little finishing touches to my cards. So I'm going to add those on top of each of the presents and then I added a couple on the bottom um, on the ends of the A Friend Like You as a Gift banner. Just kind of trying to match the bows on the presents. And that is card number seven. Okay, here we are with card number eight. This one is a fun one too. I like orange lately. Um, so we're gonna have a lot of orange on this card. This is some of our tangerine texture cardstock and I'm just gonna place that right in the center of the card base. And then this cute um, party streamer papers from the six by six paper pad. And that is going to go on top of the orange. I like to use the six by six paper pad sometimes when it's got, you know, some of the the patterns with a little bit of a busier you know, pattern. And so that's why I use the six by six. This, of course, is some of that yummy swimming pool petite print. Uh, this is the gingham side of the gingham linen. I'll put that in the center and I tied a piece of the bumblebee baker's twine there on the end. This is a die cut from the, I believe this is the chit chat. Yes, this is a happy birthday label there from the chit chat right in the center. This cute little girl is from the odds and ends. I love, love, love her orange dress. And she's going to sit right on the end there of the happy birthday. So I just wanted a little foam tape and a little bit of adhesive right there on the bottom. She's going to sit right there. And then every girl needs a crown at their party, so she's going to get a crown. This is also from the odds and ends. Place that right on her head there. And then to add some green to the card, I added this yummy candy die cut from the odds and ends. It's just going to go right there next to the happy birthday, that left corner. I'm going to add some finishing touches. This is a green sprinkle. Then we're going to go back to the sprinkle sprinkles, <laughs> and we're going to add three pink sprinkles to her crown. And looking back, this probably would have been 10 times easier if I would have uh, put those on the crown before I added it to the card. So maybe do that first. Add these tiny pink uh, sprinkles to the crown before you put it on. See how cute those are? Alrighty, this is card number eight. All right, here we are at card nine. This cute paper is from the six by six paper pad. It is like a rainbow plaid paper and it's one of my favorites. It's got all the colors of the collection in it. Makes a really, really cute background. Next, I cut out two ovals, a scallop oval and just a white oval. The scallop oval is from our swimming pool cardstock and I did the inking in the middle again with the yellow ink. So we will add this scallop to the center and then this white oval is what we're going to put our die cuts on and that's going to go right in the center of the swimming pool scalloped oval shape there this cute little red head with the yellow balloon is the focal point of the card and she is simply adorable and we uh, put some foam tape on her and she's going to go right there in the center this is a quick and easy card Sometimes you just need to let the die cuts do all the work. A cute party hat from the odds and ends. She's going to go right there next to the little girl. And then a present from the odds and ends. It's a cute little teal one. Right there on the other side. And then the card needs a sentiment. This is happy birthday banner from the chit chat. Cute bright pink color. 
going to cut some foam tape behind there. And that's going to go right at the bottom of the card. And then we're just going to add a little bit of sparkle and shine to the card, of course. Bring back in those adorable unicorn stickles. And we're just going to add those to the balloon. And then right at the, uh, make sure... There we go, the tip of the party hat, the tip of the party hat there, and then a little bit on the ends of the presents. Again, just a little sparkle and shine. This is card number nine. All right, guys, here we are, final card, card 10. I'm gonna show you how to make this fun window card base really quickly. Um, this is just going to be using your card base, a piece of pattern paper, and a metal die. This cute pattern paper is uh, from the 12 by 12 sheet. This one's called Cupcake Sprinkle. And I'm just going to add that right to my card front. Line up the corners there. And then we're going to add this stitched circle die right in the center. And go just make sure that it's right where I want it to be. I'm going to hold it in place with some washi tape. Washi tape is awesome to use on metal dies because it doesn't tear your paper and you can place your your die right where you want it to be and it will cut out right in the spot that you want it to. So I'm going to run this metal die through my uh, Big Shot and I'll be right back. Alright, here we are back with the card and as you can see I have cut a circle out of the front portion of this card and now I have a peekaboo effect, the window in the front. So let's go ahead and grab that card base and we're going to decorate the inside um, with some of that darling green birthday girl 12 by 12 pattern paper. That green is going to look super cute next to that pink confetti paper on the front. It's kind of fun you get to decorate the outside and the inside of this card. So we'll add the green right to the center there. Close it on up. And now we've got this darling window card. We're going to add a little bit more pattern paper on the front here with these border strips. This is from the Party Plaid paper. It's that 12 by 12 paper with all the uh, banners on it. I tied a little bit of this orange doodle twine on the bottom and then added it to this bottom section. Aren't those presents super cute and that teal stripe is really, really fun. Kitty Cat is from the Odds and Ends, of course, and we're going to add a little bit of adhesive and we're going to put this piece right in that window. You can kind of center it how you want and then go ahead and stick it down when you're happy with that window accessory. <laughs> Kitty Cat is saying hooray with this cute speech bubble from the chit chat. And then there aren't nearly enough presents on this card, so let's add one more. This cute orange car, or, uh, sorry, orange present is from the odds and ends. And we will add that right to the outside edge of that circle there. So we've got decorations on the inside and the outside. And then we're going to pull in more of these acetate confetti pieces from the odds and ends with our Nouveau Deluxe glue. This glue dries clear so it really works really good with these acetate shapes. And we'll add a pink one there. And then we'll add the green one. No, sorry, the blue one first. And then we'll add the green one right to the hooray section of the card. So I'm finishing up here, you guys. I just wanted to thank you so much for stopping by today and watching this video. Um, kind of this online card class to celebrate International Scrapbooking Day. We love you guys and we are so happy that uh, we love Doodlebug along with you, right along with you. We're big fans too. So have a great day creating and have a wonderful International Scrapbook Day.